Hey everyone, this is Jessica from Blue Willow Fine Art and today I wanted to bring this really easy painting to you. Um, if you're thinking about exploring watercolors, I'd advise you to do so. I know it is a very difficult medium and it may be one of the most difficult mediums there is just because it's unpredictable and you can't control where the water goes and not just that but once it's down it's down so um it's you can lift but anyway i encourage you to try it so let me just tell you what i'm going to be using um this is handmade watercolor paper it's just a spare sheet that i had it's a little bit crooked needs some cut off the top but i'm going to leave it i'm gonna go ahead and paint it but i'm going to leave it because of the scene that I'm fixing and it's going to go behind a mat board anyway so the extra isn't going to be that big of a deal or how crooked it is isn't going to be that big of a deal um, because it is going to be matted um, and just to show you what the edges look like on handmade paper this top has not been cut off this is the corner of a 22 by 30 sheet um, I actually ordered 10 sheets just to have on hand and I don't even think I have used one full sheet yet but um, but this is what the edges look like so it's definitely a different kind of paper um, there's inconsistency on the paper itself which I kind of like I think it adds character to a painting uh, it's a uh, it's actually a cold press but once it's down it would remind you of what a rough paper would look like um, in my opinion but anyway nonetheless this is like a really easy painting I advise you to jump right in if you don't own any watercolors today I am by the way this paper is a 200 pound paper watercolor paper and I'm using my M gram watercolors so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some watcher and I, these are mimic watercolor brushes this is a 30 round and um, so it holds actually quite a bit of water this paper does soak up the water and also um, I have found that you cannot take the edges of this paper down because the adhesive sticks to it and it ends up tearing it because it's you know so much like a cotton and also that something that I've noticed is that this paper stays wet a lot longer than some of your watercolor paper does so I'm just gonna wet the whole thing because I plan on doing some wet on wet for the whole scene so I think I'm gonna start with my some of my lightest colors that's gonna that I'm going to have so I'm just gonna start with some yellow that's really really yellow um, see how, I mean, how, gosh, it is so pigmented, the M. Graham are, I don't know if you guys have ever tried them, but they're absolutely beautiful colors. They are a little bit sticky, but it's no, to me, it's no big deal. So, um, and also something else that I have found with this paper is that it is really hard to lift on this paper. So if you get too much down, it's, it's down whereas some of your other paper it actually will lift a little bit easier than what i what i have experienced with this paper but it's still absolutely wonderful paper to use i love the paper um so i'm gonna go in now and i don't have an orange orange so let's see if i can make a little bit of an orange so gonna dab in this was the cad red light and the cad red yellow is what I actually put together so it's actually kind of interesting it's uh, dulled down the the just straight red and uh, it does have a very odd look to it I kind of like it <clears throat> and i'll put a reference to this photo um, that i'm using to paint by i'll put it in the description just in case you're interested and you want to look at it you can alter some colors on it yourself and i did that just to dab in up here at the top and just kind of make this represent like clouds you know there's some clouds in the sky
Okay, so I can tell that the paper is starting to dry now up in the sky where I first started. So I'm just gonna drop in some of the straight yellow, cad yellow, cadmium yellow. And I'm just gonna, I'm darkening the edges just a bit. And that's all I'm gonna do to it. I don't wanna mess with it too much. And I also darkened some of this down here, not in the lightest area because, of course, the sun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's really easy, simple. Um, keep in mind that this is handmade paper, so it does look a little different. Um, handmade paper, I don't know if you've ever used it, but it's certainly different. I have never used it until this pack. And uh, it looks a little bit more on the rugged side, but... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to let it dry, and then after it dries, I'll take a picture so you guys can see what it looks like once it's completely dried. So it's going to take a little while, but I hope you enjoyed. It's really super easy, and as always, if you have a, a prayer, wish, hope, or dream, feel free to put it in the comments down below um, so I can add it to artwork that I do or canvases or whatever it is. And, of course, you guys will always see it's in, in it will be in the video. Um... But nonetheless, until next time, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!